Should You Sell Apple Stock? by www.profitableinvestingtips.com Over the years we have periodically looked at Apple, AAPL. The question we have repeatedly raised is how long the company can continue to grow when it already has one of the highest or the highest market capitalization. The question has been when should you sell Apple stock? This morning Apple fell $8 a share on the first ever quarterly drop in iPhone sales. The Apple iPhone earnings misleads the news in USA today as the markets also worry about Fed decisions on the interest rates and worries about the tech sector in general. Stocks are off to a weak start Wednesday ahead of the Federal Reserve's key decision on interest rates later today and following a big earnings miss from iPhone maker Apple that is weighing heavily on tech stock packed NASDAQ composite. The storyline for the tech sector has turned negative in recent days amid a number of disappointing earnings reports from key players in the sector, ranging from Apple's AAPL first ever quarterly drop in iPhone sales reported after last night's close to high profile misses late last week from Microsoft MSFT and Google parent Alphabet GOOGL. Stock market history is full of growth plateaued demise stories. When the USA was putting telephones in every home in the early 20th century, it was hard to go wrong with AT&T. When every family was getting a car or two after World War II, it was hard to go wrong with the likes of General Motors. And when home computers and their operating systems were brand new, it was hard to go wrong with Microsoft. But late in the game, AT&T broke up and is a shadow of its former self. GM went bankrupt, although it is back, and Microsoft has become a dividend-paying blue chip instead of the growth engine of the 1990s. How about Apple? Inventor of the home computer and more. The Apple computer was a miracle of the late 1970s. Who would have ever thought that one might have their own home computer? But the stock never took off in the 1980s and 90s like Microsoft did. This is probably because the company did not open source its software to outside programmers like IBM did with the PC. Thus Apple was near bankruptcy in 1997 when Bill Gates of Microsoft appeared with Steve Jobs who was back at Apple and announced that Apple was rescued by Microsoft with a $150 million investment. Wired tells the story. 1997 Microsoft rescues one-time and future nemesis Apple with a $150 million investment that breathes new life into a struggling Silicon Valley icon. With Jobs back at the helm, Apple invented handheld devices like the iPhone and iPad and grew a hundredfold by 2014. But the question has always been, when would the market be saturated with iPhones, iPads and competing devices for the likes of Samsung? It just might be that we have reached that point. So should you sell Apple stock? Microsoft took a hit after the dot-com collapse but stayed in the $30 range paying dividends after it quit growing. Now with a broader focus the company sells for around $55 a share and pays a reliable dividend. If you were in Apple only for the growth it may be time to sell. On the other hand, if you want a well-run company that essentially has a license to print money with its attractive products, you may wish to hold on to a few shares. For more insights and useful information about investments and investing, visit www.profitableinvestingtips.com.